Okay, um, so when I went to press pause so I could move an item of furniture to make it easier to see what was on my shelves, I accidentally pressed stop by mistake. So this is part two, again, a tour of my shelves. This is what you want, this is what you get. Um, so we're gonna go up here. Um, KLF, craft work, lots of KLF, because KLF are awesome, lots of craft work. A couple of lush fanzines. Uh, there's some more craft work and lard. And there's some Led Zeppelin and some old passports. Uh, one of these passports I used in 2019 by mistake. I picked up the wrong one in a hurry to get a plane and it still worked for some reason. Um, there's Leftfield, Lincoln Park, Madonna and the Manic Street Preachers. And here, by the way, is a uh, credit card receipt for uh, £29,000 because somebody put the wrong numbers in. More Manix. And here is a, a harmonica given to me by the singer in a band. Um, there's Johnny Marr, Metallica. Manix, uh, Mega City 4, Mega Death, Metallica, Memory Sticks, more Metallica, and Carly Minogue, um, more Metallica again, uh, Zodiac Mind Warp and the Love Reaction, Carly Minogue, um, Ministry and Revolting Cox and Moby and Massive Attack, and more Ministry um, as well as The Mission. Um, and uh, a couple of cassette tapes there. There's Moby. This is a drumstick from Charlie Layton of The Wedding Present. And here are the uh, the, the Wedding Present um, comic book, graphic novel, autobiographies, alongside some, some records. So in here we have The Mission, Frankie Goes to Hollywood, um, Lots of Tangerine Dream, Lots of Soft Cell, uh, stuff like that. There's some more Moby for you. One of those CD singles. Some more Moby again. Uh, the Mighty Mogwai there. And uh, yeah, mm. yeah, that's Morrissey. Okay, so let's 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 move on from there. Um, we've also got some more Morrissey here. And Motorhead, of course. You have the most amazing song title of all time, Killed by Death. Um, and these are the uh, reissued versions of the Motorhead albums. Um, here we've got the National My Bloody Valentine, Muse, and a band I love, uh, Ned Stomach Dustbin. Um, and New Model Army as well. Um, yeah. And here's some, some new order. So all of the CDs... Of, uh, of new orders, including a couple of promos. There's, uh, let's just move these out of the way. There's this one here, which is new orders in order compilation from 1993 that was sent to radio stations in America to remind people that new order made records that weren't just True Faith and Blue Monday and things like that. And I'd really like this thing to focus now. That'd be lovely. There we've got more new order indeed, including here, the, uh, the Peter Savile soundtrack that was recorded in 2003 to go alongside an exhibition of his artwork that you could only buy from the Art Museum, sorry, the Design Museum. Here's Nine Inch Nails, more New Order, more Nine Inch Nails. The Nine Inch Nails, woo, they're good. And some Trent Reznor solo stuff, primarily because Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross are both members of Nine Inch Nails. So as far as I'm concerned, um, the soundtrack stuff that they do is ambient Nine Inch Nails. Varna here, including um, I think Hormoning uh, from Japan, a couple of bootlegs from the early 90s, uh, CD single there of Sliver, uh, Over Guilt, a couple of bootlegs, yeah quite a lot of bootlegs actually, and uh, a band that doesn't get enough love in my opinion, uh, Knights of Ebb, um, kind of like a, a furious industrial Ramones. There's Oasis as well, more Oasis, including the Japanese CD single of uh, Don't Go Away, uh, which features a photograph taken from, I think, John Lennon Airport in Liverpool. Um, and uh, this one's another weird one. This is, uh, I think it's a, I can't even remember what, what version it is, uh, but it's a, kind of like an international, unofficial release of the Hindu Times with 15 bonus tracks on that are all b-sides and singles and things like that uh, there we've got the orb uh, orbital more orbital including a couple of gig only cds orchestral maneuvers in the dark who i've tried to love and it just can't seem to grab hold of them 
Uh, and then there's the other two as well, and Beth Orton. The other two are fantastic, uh, being the other two from The Order. And some Mike Patton solo albums there, so the soundtrack's to a perfect place. Uh, Crank, A Place Beyond the Pines. And then we get into Pet Shop Boys. I, I really like Pet Shop Boys. And uh, they've done an awful lot of stuff. So here's some more Pet Shop Boys here. Some more Pet Shop Boys there. I oh, have CDs that aren't Pet Shop Boys. Honest gov. Some more Pet Shop Boys there. Uh, a book about the Mannix. Call of Duty for the Xbox One. And Pink Floyd. Uh, you can't have enough Pink Floyd. Well, I mean, you can't have enough Pink Floyd. But there's some more Pink Floyd. And uh, down here, we then get to Pixies. And I want to find the fans on the planet that didn't get enough respect, in my opinion. Pop will eat itself. And there's some more Pop will eat itself as well. So I should probably switch the light on at this point. But I'm not going to because I am wrong. Um, here we have... Oh, look, we've got a Robocop figure. How exciting. A Robocop figure from Robocop 3 when it wasn't played by the Robocop guy. I'm going to go and switch the light on. Hold on to your horses. Sorry, Robocop. Uh, so there's the light. And then we've got Perry Farrell, Portis Head, Power of Dreams, Primal Scream, uh, Prince. Oh, I love Prince. He's so good. And I just want to pretend that he's just making music in another dimension now. And there's some more Prince for you alongside uh, a VHS of The Undertaker, which was only, that was only released on VHS, which is bizarre. Um, here's Pill and Prodigy. More Prince. More Pill. Lego Plane and Pulp and Early Radiohead and Later Radiohead and Rage Against the Machine and Recoil and REM because you can't have enough REM in your life and more REM, yep, including uh, the Barnstorming set at the Albert Hall, so that's a bootleg from uh, the penultimate time that I saw REM. Yeah, some Rolling Stones, man, and some posters. And here's probably the, the, the one part of my selection that is m more... Uh, angsty white male than any other this is the Henry Rollins section with a side order of Martin Rossiter there um, and then we've got some Rush and some Rides and some Sex Pistols and some more Sex Pistols and The Shaman and Ziggur Ross and Simple Minds in the Sisters of Mercy and Slayer sorry fucking Slayer and uh, there we've got the Smashing Pumpkins and Sleeper and Slow Dive and more Smashing Pumpkins and some Smiths and down here, some more Smiths, and some Bruce Springsteen, and some Soft Cell, and, uh, oh look, a shark, and uh, Stone Roses. Mm. Now more Stone Roses here, and uh, a band I love, uh, which I've done a couple of things about already, which is Suede, and there's some more Suede, and there's a random Lego thing, and a couple of, some more Suede and some Sugar Cubes. Uh, some talking heads and uh, suede here. These these two were sold at the show. So this is, I think, Leeds. And I think that one's the uh, Asian Belgique in Brussels, which is a brilliant venue, but has a ridiculous policy around bar, bar tokens. Here's talking heads, talk, talk, therapy, uh, and this will destroy you and there will be fireworks. And here's some more therapy because therapy are awesome. Not enough people love them, and the the, and some more the the, uh, and then there's Tangerine Dream, there's the the cassette there. Here's a Twilight Sad cassette. Uh, there is um, also the uh, the Twilight Sad and Outlines. Uh, moving on to them Crooked Vultures, uh, Tomahawk, um, they were brilliant, Tall, um, Van Halen, Velvet Revolver, Velvet Underground, Verve. Underworld. Lots of Underworld. And uh, what I'm trying to do is to catch up with as many of the Underworld live albums as there are. There are a lot of live albums. They did pretty much every gig and sold them on CD. And slowly I picked up probably 75, 80% of those. Uh, in those days they were changing their set lists on a you know a minute by minute basis. So they'd know what song they'd start the set with, what song they'd end the set with, and in between it was a complete freak for all. Uh, this is some more Underworld. Uncle, being an uncle fan is really expensive, so I've decided not to. Uh, Utah Saints, U2, more U2, more U2, 
uh, even more U2. Yeah, that's better. I've moved my shadow out of the way. More U2. More U2 and some Paul Weller. Some Rufus Wainwright. Water Boys. Uh, Roger Waters, the genius of Pink Floyd. Assuming that no one else in Pink Floyd has any talent whatsoever. Uh, that's part of my wedding presents. Some more wedding presents. Just some wonder stuff there. Uh, this is a bit of paper which I'll move. Uh, more wonder stuff there. And uh, finally, a Lego figure, some dust, Yazoo, Rick Wright, and uh, Billy Corgan's Post Pumpkins Band as one. Oh, wasn't this exciting? No, it isn't. It isn't exciting at all. In fact, it's quite boring. I don't know why you're showing me this. But you've asked, so here we go. Here's some more DVDs. Uh, some box sets, some Star Wars Rogue One figures up there, all a pound each from Poundland, thank you Poundland. Um, Boba Fett of course, Darth Vader, more DVDs. I have this is a painting by Andrew Forcer of um, the Wonder Stuff, 30 Goes Around the Sun album. Some more DVDs under here, including a Knights of Red pin, thank you Heather for picking that up on tour. I couldn't get to see them on their 2019 tour because they were playing the same show on the same days that I was seeing the Twilight Sads. Um, I don't regret it, but I do. Here is uh, a Lego building. I can't remember which one that is. Let's pretend it's the Chrysler building. Oh, I'm gonna move that. There's some gig tickets there. You can't be seeing those. And Sheep on Drugs, Sepultura, Slash, Soundgarden, Lego box sets. More DVDs, take that, moving swiftly, I'm pretending you can't see the take that. Fair chunk of Tangerine Dream, and U2, Velvet Revolver, I'll take that everywhere aren't they? Honestly I haven't bought to take that record for a long time. And some more box sets including the Wonder Stuff, The Wedding Present, Scott Walker, Bootleg One by U2, Suede Reissues. Um, right, that's what's on my shelves. And. Um, Really what I've done is is I spent uh, pretty much 35 years buying things um, so that I could listen to them and love them. All of these records have a story that sits next to them. All of them have, um, you know, memories that are associated with them and they're part of my history. And that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm going to stop here. Um, hopefully that's been okay. Um, and I will see you all again soon. Okay, bye.